there. Seems like it's been a while since I've seen you around here. As you may have noticed, yes, I'm in the middle of a bit of a redesign. Today I am finally back with a new book review for you. What I am reviewing today is A Whole New World by Liz Braswell. This is the first in a series by Disney called Twisted Tales. And you know what they do? They take classic Disney stories and turn them on their head. And this one happens to deal with Aladdin. And what would have happened if Jafar had gotten a lamp? I did receive an advanced reading copy of this from Disney Book Group via NetGalley in return for an honest review. And so this is my honest review. I will admit, after the fiasco that was fairest of all, a retelling of Snow White from the Wicked Queen's perspective that I had serious issues with, and you can hear all about them in the link below. I wasn't sure it would be any good. The first five or six chapters of the story are essentially the same as the beginning of the movie, though the author did add in some context to kind of beef up the story and connect some of the new dots that she created, like hounding in on Princess Jasmine's cluelessness to the poverty in the city, and her blossoming determination to basically make Agrabah a utopian society. Overall, I have to say that it was a fun story. I enjoyed it for the most part. It's always interesting to me to see a classic tale twisted around. It was very, very different from Aladdin. You cannot go into this expecting it to be anything like Aladdin. This was basically the entire point of creating a storyline where Jafar got to the lamp first. But the only difference wasn't just in the story itself. The characters developed in entirely different directions. It concentrated a great deal on the politics and social structure of Agrabah, and it was a lot more serious than the movie. The tone is much darker and it deals with more serious issues. There's not quite as many laughs either. Many of the major characters did not have big roles like the carpet and Abu, which I totally understand. It is really hard to write good, non-talking animal sidekicks. Really hard. Really. But at the same time, I missed them. The carpet and Abu were there, mind you, they just weren't there very often. Unfortunately, because the genie is in the hands of Jafar, we also don't get him as much in the story either. Oh, he still gets in his one-liners and genius jokes, but in part because of the more serious and dark tone of the story, he is just not as fun and upbeat as we're so used to the genie being. The biggest difference between A Whole New World and Aladdin that I noticed is that Jasmine basically becomes the main character. Aladdin has a huge supporting role, but this story is all about Jasmine. She is the most important piece of this puzzle, the one who gets things moving, and the one who starts the revolution for crying out loud. All of you feminists out there who are really sick of the damsel in distress stereotype, you'd probably love this. Mm -hmm. Instead of Aladdin becoming a prince and stepping into her royal world, Jasmine is thrown down into the ranks of the street rats, introducing us to some fun and new characters, and becomes a heroine. One of the things that I really, really enjoyed about this story was the addition of Rasal, the captain of the guards. I have no idea if I'm saying his name right. Rasal? Rasal. Rasal! Anyway, you remember him from the movie? Of course you remember him from the movie. He was the big guy, the guard, with the bad attitude who's always chasing Aladdin around. In the book, Rasal is depicted as a lawman, determined to uphold the law, but also possessing a good amount of empathy. He is referred to as a big stupid rock of morality, a description which for some reason I just adore. Admittedly, his personality crashes dramatically with the guy I remember from the movie. You know, the one who wraps Prince Alibaba up in chains and throws him off a cliff at Jafar's behest. But I didn't care. I loved him too much. One of my big issues with the story is I felt Jafar was dealt an injustice in the climax. Parts of his downfall really conflicted with his character for me. And I felt that it really cheapened his evilness. He could have had a better, not necessarily demise, but more his reaction when confronted with his downfall. I felt he had a very ignoble end and not in a good way. The writing here was 
mediocre and the story oftentimes bizarre. I won't lie, there's some weird stuff going on in a whole new world. It's fun to see a twisted tale, but it also makes you very nostalgic for the original. Don't take this one too seriously. It might destroy your childhood. I gave A Whole New World by Liz Braswell three out of five stars. It was new. It was different. It was kind of fun. It could have been better, but it also wasn't terrible. Just kind of bizarre. It was interesting enough that I will check out any more of the Twisted Tales that they do because I want to see what they do with Disney classics. And what do you think? Are you ready for a whole new world? Okay, that's it. I'm done. Goodbye.